Dylan, you know March is Liver Health Month. Let's find out what you can do. Joining us right now, we say hello to a Nash survivor and a liver transplant recipient as well. Uh, Debbie uh, Kibor, uh, Kibor is with us. And how yes. are you? Good. You're feeling okay? Feeling good. I know you Great. have a good story to tell, <laughs> and you will in moments. Also, the Regional Coordinator of Eastern Ontario at the Canadian Liver Foundation, Megan Derrock, is with us. Hi, Megan. Hey. Let's talk about this amazing uh, foundation, CLF. It's been around for 50 years. 50 years this year. Big year. Yeah. Tell, so, us, tell us what you do. So we're a national charity, mm -hmm. and our mission is to bring liver research to life. And we do that in a number of ways. So the first way is to fundraise uh, so that we can provide research grants uh, to Canadian researchers who are focused on liver research. Mm -hmm. So we do that with two annual events, our Stroll for Liver in June, our gala in November. We also provide education. So our website, liver.ca, is a database of evidence-informed uh, information for people around liver health. We provide free workshops in the community on liver health. We provide uh, peer support, uh, and we do that through a national helpline and a peer support network across Canada. Mm -hmm. And locally, we do a Living with Liver Disease program, which is a peer support forum as well. My gosh, you do a lot of things. We do. <laughs> Debbie, tell us your story. You've got quite the story here. <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> yeah? Um, it started in March 2010. I, I came home one night, and, and I wasn't feeling good, and I threw up black, and I had black schedule, and so I ended up at the hospital in the general, I flew by ambulance. And from there I went to see Dr. Liver, uh, liver specialist, Dr. Scully. And uh, she did a lot of tests on me and found that I had a liver disease. And by the end of April 2011, I was uh, m more severe, and severe enough to go to Toronto General, so she got me into Toronto General. Can you tell us what kind of liver disease you have? I have non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Mm -hmm. It's a more severe liver disease of NAFLD. Okay. Yeah. All right. So obviously very severe, but somebody came through for you. My brother David. Yeah. That must have been some kind of special moment. It was. Um, he, he didn't even tell me it was going to be tested. And... All of a sudden, he got all his testing done, and he was a match, mm -hmm. and uh, he gave me two-thirds of his liver. That's something. The gift of life. That is the gift of life. Okay, so, so when did the liver transplant happen? April 18th, 2012. I'll be celebrating my seventh anniversary this April. Congratulations. Thank and you. I did ask you at, at, at the top of this interview how you're feeling. How, how are you feeling? All I'm these feeling years good. I, I, I've had a few ups and downs. That, but that's that's comes with with the liver transplant with your drugs you have to take. Mm -hmm. Of yeah. course, expected. Megan, the number of people affected in Canada by non-alcoholic fatty liver disease? So it's seven million Canadians, or one in five Canadians are affected. And the sad part is a lot of people don't even know about uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, so they could be living with it, and if not treated, it could lead to non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, mm -hmm. which okay. is what Debbie had. So what are the symptoms? So uh, having a high body mass index is, is a symptom or a sign. Uh, also having uh, poor nutrition or a lack of physical exercise. Mm. So is that what brings this on then primarily? Then? For sure. These two aspects mm. yes. that are not good. So I take it then, Debbie, you've changed your ways. I've changed my ways. I still slide back at the odd time. It's not easy. It's not easy. No, yeah. it's not, especially when you're, I'm still working. Mm -hmm. So I come home and I have to make my supper and that. You, you know, you're tired. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. But do you have a message to, uh, for any people out there who are not changing their ways? I would definitely change my ways, my nutrition and exercise. Uh, you don't want to go through what I did. No. No. Not a fun experience. No, it wasn't, especially with the toxins yeah. that get in your body. So about a minute left here, Megan. I just want to know what is CLV, uh, CLF doing t to make sure this we can get rid of this problem. So we're trying to encourage all Canadians go to liver.ca slash check your engine. There's an interactive quiz, answer yes, no, and if you answer yes to any of the questions, you may be at risk of fatty liver disease. Mm -hmm. And we have lots of great health tips, but definitely talk to your doctor. Make, mm -hmm. make that conversation part of your regular checkup. Mm -hmm. And Liver Health Month, obviously very important. It is. Yes. Lots of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we had our a wonderful... Our Stroll for Liver. Our Stroll for Liver is coming up in June, and we did our peer support group on uh, nutrition on uh, last Monday, and it was mm -hmm. a full crowd, so... That's good. Yeah. It's good. Well, I, it's always great when you, when you educate people and keep them healthy, and, and these stories are very important. Debbie and Megan, thank you very much for being here thank today. You Thanks for having us. Much continued health ahead. Liver.ca for more details. I'm Dylan Black. Have a good day.